Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much. And if you're a health bell, hello. So this is the first video for the next update. And today we went to um, Hua, what's it called? Hua. Hualan. What? Hualan. Hualan. Anyway. Taiwan. So um, we had a CJ yesterday and a gala night last night, so that's on the Philippine video. And um, today we got off the ship. We didn't do an organised tour and <clears throat> we got a shuttle bus into town and had a little look around. Saw a really lovely temple, um, which is the first temple I've seen actually. And um, it was, it's really beautiful and I'll put some photos up after this but uh, it was a little bit shocking actually how tourists can behave you know the Buddhist monk was doing his praying and then he was carrying an offering across and this chap just went hello like interrupting him I, I was just appalled at the lack of respect to be honest but there we are I suppose not everybody knows how to behave in those situations. You have to take your shoes off if you went inside. So we just kind of photograph from the outside and a, and a kind of respect thing as well, you know, it's not there for us, it's there for them and we're just having a, a look. So um, I've been incredibly tired today. I've actually went and had a sleep this afternoon for a couple of hours, which is almost unheard of for me. And um, there is a lot of COVID on the ship. And so now there is a mask mandate. So all the spaces indoors now you must wear a mask which is um, a bit of a pain because I hate wearing masks and it's it's also pretty stupid I mean I understand that the captain is trying to mitigate the number of cases on board but at the end of the day as soon as we go into the dining room we all take our masks off to eat and drink so unless you suddenly stop breathing while you're eating and drinking I, I really I really don't understand it but it's not for me to question it's just you know it's just one of those things and it's a real shame for the people that do have it because they're isolated now until the end of the cruise so it is a bit of a dampener really anyway never mind we're off to dinner now i'm wearing this isn't a planned outfit actually i just couldn't be bothered to put another dress on and so this is my lily silk beautiful silk blouse do you remember without the um so it's got the raglan sleeve all in one i think that's so lovely there's no slit um seam there and i'm wearing my chain with the um, pearl enhancer and the baroque pearl earrings and I'm just wearing those £17.50 um, trousers from Marks and Spencer so just incredible really. Um, I will stop and I'll just do you a quick um, full length for those that are interested. Okay cheers. So Rob is on camera, He's got his uses and like, so this is the silk blouse, which I absolutely love. I did have to give it a quick rub over with the iron because it was a bit creased. And I've just got it on with the, oh, these are the black um, £17.50 trousers from Marks. And I've got it on with my Gabor platform trainers. Quite a kind of casual look tonight, um, but still, you know, plenty smart enough. So, um, that's tonight. So Rob went round all day today thinking it was Friday and then I had to tell him it was Thursday. So he's game today. And tomorrow the clocks go forward again. So this whole time thing is, is like plays with your brain. Anyway, it's all good. And tomorrow we're looking forward to going to Keelung, which uh, the nearest city is Taipei. So we've hooked up with another couple and we're going to, they seem to be a bit more um, savvy about how to do things off off the kind of excursion route so we're doing that later and so i'll fill you in on that tomorrow night thank you so today is i don't know which number in the the vlogs that i'm doing but today was our, for our second day in taiwan and today we were in a place called keelung is where we we docked and then we got a taxi and um, after discussing with some other people and finding out that the shore excursions are actually very expensive and um, these these two people um, 
Nick and Lynn, shout out to them. Uh, they've done lots of cruising and they said, oh no, don't get the, um, what's going on my hair, it's turning right. Um, don't, don't get the uh, shore excursions, you know, just get a taxi. So basically we sort of tagged along with them and um, we were going to get a train into Taipei and then a taxi driver at the tourist information place said, you know, we can do this, this, this and this. And it was just brilliant. We, we got in the car at 20 past nine and we did about five different sites which were mind blowing. They were so brilliant, temple, um, war, uh, national monument, all sorts of things. And I'll put those into this video as we go along. But I can tell you it was actually the best day that we've had so far on this holiday as far as sightseeing goes, because we really did see a lot and uh, we both thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I, I don't know if I said it was $35 each. So, you know, really, really good value. We gave him quite a nice tip as well, which he was absolutely thrilled with. So um, it's been a long and quite tiring day and the clocks go forward tonight. I mean, I, I don't, because we've never done such a kind of a far away cruise before, we've never had this clock changing business. So it does kind of, throw you a little bit and tie you out a bit more because basically obviously tonight clock's going forward we're going to kind of lose an hour again anyway we'll cope we've just got to go up and have some dinner and um tonight i am wearing do you remember this little jumper that i got from primark which i absolutely love and i have popped it over a black sleeveless dress and um i'm just wearing the big gold hoops quite simple um, I'm kind of getting to the stage now where getting really dressed up is becoming a bit of a chore. It's that terrible, but you know, that's the truth. So um, I'll get Rob to take over the camera and um, he can just show you the full length. I mean, it's not very exciting, but hang on a minute, Rob, please. Thanks, I'm, I'm just gonna stop the camera first. <laughs> he was just about to whip it away. Um, what else was I gonna say? Uh, so the Primark jumper, which I think was about £16, and this is just a tiered sleeveless jersey dress that I got in John Lewis in the sale last year. It's kind of a really useful dress, actually, a sun, sun dress or whatever you want it to be. Very simple, very comfortable. I'm wearing my black chub, chub rob knickers underneath, which have just been invaluable. And again, wearing the um, nude coloured suede espadrilles that our crew actually is the brand and I got them in uh, the next clearance. So the boat's actually rocking a bit now, so uh, I'll end it there and uh, pop this in. Thanks. Hello. Um, so this vlog is going to carry on from, where were we yesterday? <laughs> Taiwan. And today we were in Ishigaki an island in Japan. It was our first stop in Japan. And um, unfortunately, it absolutely poured down with rain. We got off the ship and um, we got in a taxi to go to the most beautiful beach in the world. And uh, when we got there, you couldn't even see the beach. It was such a shame. I was really looking forward to it. But every cloud has a silver lining because actually Rob and I had really, really wanted to do an excursion that was organised on the ship. And that was to go to a luxury beach resort. And that was going to cost $145 each. So that would be nearly $300, so about £260. And we would have just been there in the pouring, pouring rain. It wasn't cold, but you know, I mean, who wants to be on a beach in the pouring rain? So that, you know, every cloud, like I say, so it was a bit of a shame. Um, we did, we, we got a taxi to the beach and I mean, I mean, I'm talking torrential rain, you know, wipers going double speed, water spraying everywhere and all the rest of it. Anyway, it is what it is. You can't change the weather. It's just uh, one of those things. Uh, a shame because I probably will never come here again. 
but um, we also got him to, it was quite funny because he couldn't speak any English, so he was using Google Translate on the phone and asking us to speak into it what we were trying to say. And we were trying to say, is, because we'd heard about this pottery, we were trying to say, is the pottery, un, un, you know, indoors, undercover and all this sort of thing. And it, I mean, it was honestly, it was like, is pottery my comment or something i mean it was just so random what this thing was doing anyway he finally got the gist of it and we did go to this pottery which had some really beautiful things and they they got you to look through a light and you could see it was like fire in the glazing it was incredible very expensive but i did buy a little pot which i'll show you when i get home and um, that was like a second because you can't put liquid in it but it's just for an ornament so i don't need to put liquid in it so that was our day um, and we came back to the ship then and just kind of mooched about really. I did a couple of emails and bits and bobs and read my book and Rob had a snooze and um, and that was that really. So kind of a, 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 a bit of a kind of a low day, I suppose. But it was fine. Like, I'm, you know, I'm absolutely not upset about it or anything. It's just one of those things. Uh, the weather forecast for tomorrow is better and we're going to Okinawa tomorrow. I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of these things properly, but anyway, um, that's tomorrow's little trip. So this is the dress. Do you remember this dress from Monsoon? I'll stand up and see what you can see. I'm kind of a bit over it all, really, to be honest with you. Um, but it's got the kind of blue snake skin and I've put it on with this lariat and the big hoops in silver. It's kind of a gun metal, the... Um, the actual metallic element but I think it does lean more towards silver and uh, I'll just take one of my shoes off I don't know if I showed you these shoes I got these at the last minute from um next of course and um I think I have shown you haven't I but they're really comfortable Moda and Pele um nice block heel and good support on the instep so we're we're just going off to dinner now and we'll probably go to the show there's a band on called the four d's or something and they are uh they do like um the jersey boys and that kind of music apparently and apparently they're very good so um we'll do that and and that will be today gone now of course the time is galloping um we've only got one more port day and then we've got two C days when I'll upload all of this. Um, we've got a gala night, so on the second last night, that's the 20th night. And um, and then we'll be getting off and going into Tokyo. So um, it's funny, isn't it, how the time goes really slowly and then just gallops at the end. But there we are, that's life. And um, it's all good, all good. I mean, by the way, Cunard, have not been in touch with me again about anything so it is what it is they're fools they are fools but that's their choice so um i'll leave you with that i hope you have a lovely day evening afternoon morning wherever you are in the world and um i'll catch up with you really soon thank you bye hi so today was our second day in japan and today we were in okinawa and the weather could not be more different to yesterday. It was absolutely scorching, about 28 degrees. And we had a lovely day. We got a shuttle bus into town and then we um, got a taxi. With the taxi driver, we couldn't speak a word of English, but um, we, we were with some friends that we've made on the cruise and um, we went to, I'm gonna get it wrong, Shiroju Castle or something like that. I'll put it. I'll put the title on the on the video. And uh, an ancient, ancient castle. And we had a quick look around there, and um, that was very interesting. And then we we got outside, and the taxi driver that dropped us off had been waiting for us because he obviously thought that we were a good opportunity. And he was lovely. It was all metered, so it was all perfectly, um, you know, fair enough. And he took us then to these gardens where there's a very ancient um, palace 
from the 15th century, I think, 15th or 16th century. Beautiful, beautiful gardens. And um, I'll, I'll put some photos of those up as well. And um, time was pressing on then and it was getting very, very hot. So we also then got in a taxi. I tell you what, the Japanese people have been so lovely. Like where people saw that we were, um, you know, not able to converse with the taxi driver, uh, like the lady in the in the shop from the gardens that sold the ticket, she came out, she told him what we needed. You know, she said, no, don't wait. You don't want to pay for him to wait. It'll be too long. I'll call you a taxi when you're finished and all stuff like that. So really, really lovely. And so then we got a taxi to a market and um, it wasn't like an open air market. It was like rows and rows of little shops kind of market, if you know what I mean. And uh, we had to look around there and then it was gone two o'clock by then. So we were pretty hungry. So we went into an indoor food market and we came outside and then somebody said, oh, if you want to eat and drink, you go upstairs. So we went up to the first floor and uh, that was quite an experience because obviously it was very, very Japanese. But a lady there, an older lady, spoke really good English and she said, I'll oh, come in here. And so we ordered some food in there and uh, I had egg fried rice with prawns, which was delicious. And, um, and then we, we came out of there and we decided we'd had enough really that we would go home, up home, back to the ship. And a man was just waiting on the street corner and he said, it's hot. And I'd said, yeah, it's really hot. And he said, what are you doing? And we said, oh, we're going back to the shuttle bus. And he came over with us to the taxi and explained where we needed to go and made sure that we were okay. So really, really, really kind people and really the place is so clean and um yeah we've been very impressed so um i've just got changed for dinner we, we came back we had a couple of hours on deck um because it is quite tiring all this touring round and sightseeing and in the heat as well you know so I've just got dressed for dinner i'm wearing the navy blue lace dress from of course the next oh this might have been John Lewis clearance actually but anyway it's uh, navy lace I'll stand up and give you the full view and I'm wearing it kind of with a layered of course Meniere's um, lariat necklace with the pearls that nice just come down the front and then this lovely uh, paper clip chain with the little smoky quartz um, drop and then I'm just wearing it with a pair of my own cuff earrings diamond earrings that I got a little while ago so um yeah we're going to dinner now not sure if we're going to go and see the show it's called pinky and minky or something not really my cup of tea uh, magic act not me and uh, so there, you know there's loads of other options of entertainment so I'll stand up and see. I'm wearing it with the gold shoes you know with the ankle strap and um this is the dress um it's kind of wasted and um, gathered on cotton lace. Quite pretty and uh, quite flattering. Oh, Rob's standing here now. I think he's gonna, let me just move his table out of the way and then we can give you the, the full length. So I'll give Rob the, can you see? So this is, it's a very tight waisted fitted top and a gathered skirt quite comfortable and that's me for this evening so off we go again into the wild blue yonder uh, go and have some nice food and then decide what we want to do from there so thanks as ever um tomorrow night is the last gala night so i'll see you then thank you bye Hi, so we're on the final gala night after all of that, all that preparation and all of the builds up. We've got gala night and then tomorrow night is the last night on the cruise and then we get off and go into Tokyo. So we've had a sea day today, which the sun was shining, so it was lovely. 
and uh, you might be able to tell that tonight is um, Roaring Twenties. So this is just my nod to it. I got this little very pretty um, fascinator thing in um, Marks and Spencer in the sale. I think it's more like for a wedding or something, but I thought it's just the job for this. And I've got on my Meneer pearls, my pearl necklace, and just some a string of pearls from the haberdashery shop, basically, and a plain black sequin dress, which I will show you um, full length when Rob comes into the shop. So we've had a nice day today. Um, very quiet, you know, sat in the jacuzzi for a while. When the temperature dropped, it really dropped quite suddenly. It got quite chilly out there, actually. So it's probably about 25 today, I think. But all good. Um, I haven't heard anything from Cunard by way of uh, response to my earlier conversation with them. And that's fine. That lets me know where I stand. And... Um, today it's really horrible if you are on the boat and your partner husband wife girlfriend boyfriend whoever friend um gets covid and you were in the cabin with them you are separated and put into different cabins and the couple that we know that were here celebrating their silver wedding anniversary had exactly that happened to them. She didn't feel too good, not ill, ill, just not too good, did a test. It showed that she was positive with COVID. They did the right thing, as in, you know, the protocol and told the doctors and then they were immediately put into separate cabins. And he came out today and she's coming out tomorrow, the very last day of the cruise. So. It's a real difficult one because there are definitely people walking around on this ship with COVID. I mean, that's just a fact because there's coughing going on everywhere. Um, I don't really know what to think, you know. At the end of the day, we're wearing masks, but then we all go into the dining room, we take our masks off. So what's what does that achieve? Personally, I think if you are very fearful of getting COVID, you shouldn't come on a cruise because it's almost impossible to avoid being in lifts with people. I mean, masks aren't a kind of magic trick. You know, they help, but they, they won't stop you getting COVID. If you're, if you're in a lift with somebody with COVID, I'm pretty sure you would get COVID. Anyway, that's a whole other subject. I'm just saying that it's really, I never thought I would be back wearing a mask again. I really honestly didn't think that it would still be a thing by the time we got on this cruise in what we were on April, 2023. But there we are, that is the situation. And apparently there are Japanese um, medics on board that are monitoring the whole situation. And so the ship has to be seen to be being extremely diligent in how they deal with the whole um, isolation and mask wearing thing. So it, it's a really sticky subject, that's for sure. But I feel really sorry for them because there's actually no reparation. They went, he went to see the head of customer services today to say, you know, we basically lost, lost half our crew, crews. And their, their response was pretty much, well, that's the way it is. Anyway, I don't want to dwell on like a negative because we've had a really lovely day today. We've had a good laugh. We've met some really lovely people um, and it's been fun. It has actually been fun. So we're going out tonight. We're going out for dinner shortly. Rob's got his uh, black tie on. And so we will, I'll get him to film me full length and then I'll do a shot of us together. And um Tomorrow night, I will wrap all of this up into one video and hopefully publish it for you all tomorrow. I hope you're still enjoying them. And uh, as I say, we've just got Tokyo to go and um, and then we'll be back to normal halls in my hall. So uh, see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>